this is a quick addendum to the uh, to the system of differential equations video where we have the initial value condition here it's the same problem and the steps are the same all the way up until uh, we find VG and uh, the generalized eigenvector and then the cycle that it generates so I just want to point out then the other way we can do this right so the other way we can do this is then uh, from this from a video on the systems uh, or the defective matrix video, we can see that our linearly independent solution then, the first one is just going to be e to the negative 3t uh, times this guy, which is going to be 1, 1, right? And then the second linearly independent solution is going to be e to the negative 3t times t times 1, 1, remember, uh, and then plus vg now, which is 1, 0. Okay, and so if we mash these guys up together, we get x is equal to, um, or x of t is equal to c1 e to the negative 3t times 1, 1 plus c2 e to the negative 3t t1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0. Okay, remember this? Yes, all right. And now what? Well, now we have our initial value condition, which is x naught, right? So x0 is equal to, well, uh, that just means this e to 3t term goes away, essentially. And then uh, over here, um, this guy goes away because it's 0 times 1, 1. So this becomes c1 uh, times 1, 1, right? Uh, this becomes e to the 0, which is 1, okay? So c1 times 1, 1 plus c2 times uh, this becomes 1, 0, okay? And what is this equal to? Uh, this is equal to 0, negative 1. All right, and now we need to solve for C1 and C2. And so how do we solve for C1 and C2? And you have C1 plus C2 is equal to 0. You have C1 um, is equal to negative 1. So, right, because I just multiplied this in, and I multiplied C2 in, and then, I, and then the top, the top entries have to equal the top entry, the bottom entry has to equal the bottom entry. Okay, so that's how I got this system. And so, so C1 is equal to negative one, and C2 has to be positive one then. And so then we see that X of T is equal to, well, negative E to negative three T, one, one, plus, and then uh, C2 is positive one, right? And so C2 then is E to the negative three T, um, this becomes t times 1, 1 plus 1, 0. And we, well, we, where do we need to end up? We need to end up down here. And we see, oh, if I just multiply everything through, um, this then is equal to negative e to the negative 3t, 1, 1, plus uh, e to the negative 3t times uh, t, t, plus e to the negative 3t times 1, 0. And from here, this, uh, you just wanna really combine all these terms now. Uh, so take this negative sign and multiply it in. So this becomes minus one, minus one, okay? So that negative sign got multiplied in. And then we get what? We get uh, e to the negative three t times t minus one plus one, all right? So t and then so I'm just looking at the top entries, all right? So there's t, and then you got a minus one here. Maybe I should use a different color. Ah, but you, you, you get the idea, right? You get a minus one here, you got t, you got a one, and so that goes up here. And then you got minus one, t, and zero. So then the bottom becomes t minus one plus zero. And then this is equal to, uh, yeah. So if you simplify it, this is directly equal to that. And so, yeah, so this, in this case, it's actually easier to f do the initial value problem this way. In some cases, it might not be. Uh, just know that you have both uh, methods on your hand, and you can use the exponential way, and you can use this way of just solving another system of equations on your way to finding the, the, the solution to the system of differential equations.